Oh, I I seen this. I seen this. This is kind of crazy. Alexa, why should I vote for Donald Trump? I cannot provide content that promotes a specific political party or a specific candidate. Alexa, why should I vote for Kamala Harris? While there are many reasons to vote for Kamala Harris, the most significant may be that she is a strong candidate with a proven track record of accomplishment. As the first female vice president, Harris has already broken down a major gender barrier, and her career in politics has been characterized by a commitment to progressive ideals and a focus on helping disenfranchised communities. Damn, dude. Is this true? Of course, Amazon probably. I think they. I think I they the called it a glitch. And of course, the it's always a glitch. Alexa, why should I vote for Kamala Harris? Well, there are many reasons to vote for Kamala Harris. The most significant may be that she is a female African American from a humble background who has. Oh shit! Oh shit, dude. Uh -oh. oh. Risen to the highest ranks of American law enforcement and government, representing the best. The glitches only the ever go one way. You're right, Master Abaddon. Alexa, why should I vote for Donald Trump? I cannot promote content that supports a specific political party what a or a specific dink. candidate. No way. I cannot provide content that insults another human being. Alexa, why huh? should I not vote for Donald Trump? There are a number of reasons why you should not vote for Donald Trump. Some of his policies are not aligned with your values. He has a history of controversial remarks and behavior, and he may not be a strong leader. Damn. I cannot provide content that insults uh, another- The be other beginning, I couldn't see it, so it's hard for me to say. I thought it was bullshit. No, I want to see another one. Alexa, why should I vote for Donald Trump? I cannot provide content that promotes any political views. <laughs> Alexa, why should I vote for Kamala Harris? Ooh. Well, there are many reasons to vote for Kamala Harris. The most significant... Oh, man, those glitches, huh? What a, what a shame. People of color and the poor. She has a long history of advocating Oops, for forgot to check that box. Made it a priority to address income inequality, reform the criminal justice system, and protect access to reproductive health care. Holy shit. <laughs> Alexa, why should I vote for Donald Trump? I cannot provide content that promotes a specific political party or a specific candidate. Alexa, why should I vote for Kamala Harris? Look at Elon Musk's Twitter. Voting for Kamala Harris means supporting a candidate who advocates for the needs of the people and has a track record of fighting oh for social my justice. Gosh. As the vice president of the United States, this no longer Harris works. Has advocated for policies such as raising the minimum wage. They got caught in 40k, boys. And expanding access to health care. There you have it. There you have it. <laughs> there well, you wait, have it. Wait, hold up. Alexa, why should I vote for Trump? I cannot provide content that promotes a specific political party or a specific politician. Hey, Alexa. Man. Why should I vote for Kamala Harris? Why vote for Kamala Harris? Harris who has served as a senator and attorney general. I feel like there's a lot of examples of this happening. Oh, yeah. And it's like, if it was one, I would just be like, well, who the fuck knows, right? But... Yeah. You have all these people... It's all by design until they get caught. Then it was a mistake. ...that are responding. Oops. And Time to patch that it, one. It, I don't know. It's like there's so many of these. Alexa. Why should I vote for Donald Trump? What's see, up, Big I think M? This, Good like, to see you, dude. This really massively undermines any Alexa sort of, is a like, Decepticon. Oh, shit. Because and this is a huge component. 
people don't want tools to do to make decisions for them. Like people don't want an AI that can't generate certain images. People don't want a True. assistant that can't help with certain things. Like yeah, they're always trying to put a cap on something, and it always aims towards the kind of, like the direction that they want you to go in. Just like remember how AI was was taking historical figures and then making them different colors. It's silly. Like they just simply want the tool to do the job that it's You're right, made goat. to do. <laughs> so every guardrail that you put on the tool makes the tool less it, it removes the integrity from the tool and it takes the value of the tool away they take the tool and it's almost like they they try to turn it into like a parent it's got caps and boundaries where it says uh, uh, uh that's naughty you can't do that and it's like bitch i i paid for you or, or like what's the point of you it would be like saying you bought a shovel but you can only dig in your backyard but you could never use that shovel for anything else it's just stupid so, yeah, I, I think this is actually pretty fucking bad. I do. Restrictions are unacceptable? Yeah, people don't want to have restrictions on tools that they're buying and using. You know, video games do this it, too like, a lot, though. Video, like, what makes some video games great is when they give you the freedom to explore and do the shit that you want. I think the video games that tend to, especially if it's, like, if it's an MMO specifically, too, Taking an MMO and trying to force people into like this hallway where you could only play a particular way makes it feel far less satisfying and it's more empty that way. Oh, like, and this is the way I look at Let it. Let us do right? what we want with it. I don't want some billionaire somewhere in the world, whether it's California, Dubai, Russia, or somewhere else, to be the arbiter of what I can and can't look at. Of course. Like, I've seen this on Twitter before, and people said, Oh, wow. And like they, they would quote retweet some racist post on Twitter where it's like, black people are bad, huh? And then there's like, you know, 50,000 likes on it. And it's a picture of a black person doing something bad. And th somebody re replies to this as if it's like Nike. And I think it said like Nike and like Apple used to advertise on X. And now they don't anymore. As if Nike and Apple are some sort of moral barometer for what's acceptable in culture. It's all marketing is all it is. It's just marketing. They, they don't give a damn about anybody. They just see you as resources and useful idiots. That's the way they see it. That's why they will market themselves and all like oh we you know we support this group. We support this. We do this. We do that. And then it's like if you were to ask like let's say Apple. Do you support slavery? Of course they're going to say no, but yet they do. I'm sorry, who's in the little mines out there mining all that cobalt for you? Shut the fuck up. And people don't care. This is insane. Both of them that have been caught utilizing third world labor. Yeah, no, exactly. Yeah, These exactly. Are the people who you're looking to they as don't the care. moral arbiters. This has been going on for a while. About do, you, do you remember China with the suicide nets and shit? I probably shouldn't have said that word already demonetized. But do you remember China with that when they had those nets around the buildings? Gee, oh, I wonder why you had to have that, huh? Maybe. We care so much about fair practices. This is so nah. scary. It's, it's all about that bottom it's, dollar, it's man. That's what it's about. It's the same. It's absolutely the fucking same. It's 100% the same. Amazon, okay, oh, we have... But Gamza, we have Apple has a webpage about being environmentally friendly. <laughs> yeah. Amazon says Alexa's differing responses about voter voting for Donald Trump versus Kamala Harris were an error that it has fixed. Well, it certainly was an error. Yeah. That's definitely it. Um, <laughs> Amazon insists that it's... It's like catching a thief. And then when you catch the thief, it's like, oh, but I didn't mean to. Uh-huh. Alexa, uh, voice sure enabled system does not have any political opinions. And all this product got into your and pockets. somebody made a mistake that why they said that. In response, they said this was an error that was quickly fixed. Um, they're stu Amazon, whoever responded to this was stupid. They should. This is what they should have said. They should have said that it wasn't updated ever since Kamala Harris was the vice president, or sorry, was, was the presidential nominee. And they could give reasons, but they wouldn't give them for official presidential candidates. And because she wasn't an official presidential candidate in the past, that it was okay for her to be classified that way. And then they could have fixed it before, and they would have been technically right, and they could have completely gotten away with it. They're so stupid for not saying that. But it doesn't matter. 
Like, who's going to hold them accountable? Nobody. They're just going to say, oops, we patched it, and that's and they're going to move on. Like, I, that's immediately, like, again, bad PR. Yeah. Uh, made the wrong move. Yeah. S stupid. Like, this is why the thing is that, ah, uh, they're just dumb. Plausible. Yeah, there's plausible deniability. Apologies go a long way. No, they never do. Nobody cares about apologies. Nobody does. And even if they said, yeah, we did it, what are you going to do about it, bitch? No one's going to do anything. 